Welcome to Amusaf channel. This review will discuss, Iguazu Falls or Iguazu Falls, which are located between two countries namely Argentina and Brazil. How do I get Iguazu Falls? Due to its remote location, most visitors travel to Iguazu Falls by plane. You can either fly into Puerto Iguazu in Argentina, a two-hour flight from Buenos Aires, or Paz do Iguazu in Brazil, a two-hour flight from Rio de Janeiro. It's easy to explore the falls from both countries' gateway towns. The name Iguazu comes from the Guarani or Tupi words, Y, meaning, water, and, Uasu, Wasu, meaning, big. Legend has it that a deity planned to marry a beautiful woman named Nike, who fled with her mortal lover Taroba in a canoe. In a rage, the deity sliced the river, creating the waterfalls and condemning the lovers to an eternal fall. The first European to record the existence of the falls was the Spanish conquistador Ovar Núñez Cabeza de Vaca in 1541. The staircase character of the falls consists of a two-step waterfall formed by three layers of basalt. The steps are 35 and 40 meters, 115 and 131 feet, in height. The columnar basalt rock sequences are part of the 1,000 meter thick, 3,300 feet. Serra-Geral formation within the Paleozoic Mesozoic Piranha Basin. The tops of these sequences are characterized by 8 to 10 m, 26 to 33 fourths of highly resistant vesicular basalt and the contact between these layers controls the shape of the falls. Headwater erosion rates are estimated at 1.4-2.1 cm per year, 0.55-0.83 in per year. Numerous islands along the 2.7 km long, 1.7 miles. Edge divides the falls into many separate waterfalls and cataracts, varying between 60 and 82 meters, 197 and 269 feet. The number of these smaller waterfalls fluctuates from 150 to 300, depending on the water level. About half of the river's flow falls into a long and narrow chasm called the Devil's Throat, Garganta del Diablo in Spanish or Garganta del Diablo in Portuguese. The Devil's Throat Canyon is 80 to 90 m, 260 to 304 wide and 70 to 80 m, 230 to 264 deep. Left of this canyon, another part of the river forms 160 to 200 individual falls, which merge into a single front during flood stage. The largest falls are named San Martin, Adam and Eva, Penoni, and Bergano. Most codis at the Iguazu Falls had a rather rust-colored fur. But fur color can also be dark brown or grayish. All codis have a slender head and an elongated nose in common. As they have a very flexible nose, they can use it to search for food under leaf litter or debris on the ground. Papilio glaucus, the eastern tiger swallowtail, is a species of butterfly native to eastern North America. It is one of the most familiar butterflies in the eastern United States, where it is common in many different habitats and travels as far north as Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Exiting bird list of over 320 bird species identificated and registered, the exclusive Yakutia Private Reserve and the comfort of Yakutia Lodge guarantee a successful birding expedition. The Friendship Bridge is a 10-minute drive from the center of Foz du Iguazu and easily accessible via public buses. Allow about 30 minutes to cross on foot. If you don't want to walk across the bridge, take a public bus or taxi from the immigration office at the start of the bridge. What to do at Iguazu Falls? Iguazu Falls Tour, Boat Ride, 
train, safari truck. is a tour package that you can enjoy at Iguazu Falls. Ticket price from $150 per adult. Duration, 8 to 10 hours. What time does Iguazu Falls tour, boat ride, train, Safari truck start. Will start at 7 a.m. Iguazu Falls Tour. Boat ride, train, safari truck is hosted by Iguazu Falls Tours by Sehie. Things you can do at Iguazu Falls is panoramic helicopter flight over Iguazu Falls. Since 1972, this tour has performed panoramic flights in the city of Foz do Iguazu. A unique experience lived by over 3 million passengers from all corners of the world, who were privileged with an exclusive view of the Iguazu Falls, one of the seven wonders of the world, and also with the view of other sites of the region. All our flights and operations comply with aviation, environmental, and especially the strictest safety standards. Our company is aware of its role in the environment, so we spread and practice this idea. Since 2004 we have adhered to the Internal Environmental Management Program, achieving in 2006 the ISO 14000 certificate. Thus Helisol Taxi Aereo became the first Brazilian civil aviation company to have ISO 14000. Ticket from $90.73 per adult. Duration fly, 10 minutes. Iguazu Falls or Waterfalls of the Iguazu River on the border of the Argentine province of Misiones and the Brazilian state of Parana. Together, they make up the largest waterfall in the world. The falls divide the river into the upper and lower Iguazu. The Iguazu River rises near the heart of the city of Curitiba. For most of its course, the river flows through Brazil, however, most of the falls are on the Argentine side. Below its confluence with the San Antonio River, the Iguazu River forms the border between Argentina and Brazil.
The staircase character of the falls consists of a two-step waterfall formed by three layers of basalt. The steps are 35 and 40 meters, 115 and 131 feet, in height. The columnar basalt rock sequences are part of the 1,000 meter thick, 3,300 feet. Sarah Geral formation within the Paleozoic Mesozoic Piranha Basin. The tops of these sequences are characterized by 8 to 10 m, 26 to 33 fort. Of highly resistant vesicular basalt and the contact between these layers controls the shape of the falls. Headwater erosion rates are estimated at 1.4-2.1 cm per year, 0.55-0.83 in per year. Numerous islands along the 2.7 km long, 1.7 miles. Edge divide the falls into many separate waterfalls and cataracts, varying between 60 and 82 meters, 197 and 269 feet. High. The number of these smaller waterfalls fluctuates from 150 to 300, depending on the water level. About half of the river's flow falls into a long and narrow chasm called the Devil's Throat, Garganta del Diablo in Spanish or Garganta do Diablo in Portuguese. The Devil's Throat Canyon is 80 to 90 m, 260 to 300 fort, wide and 70 to 80 m, 230 to 260 fort. Left of this canyon, another part of the river forms 160 to 200 individual falls, which merge into a single front during flood stage. The largest falls are named San Martin, Adam and Eva, Penoni, and Bergano. About 900 meters, 2,950 feet, of the 2.7 kilometers, 1.7 miles. Length does not have water flowing over it. The water of the lower Iguazu collects in a canyon that drains into the Piranha River, a short distance downstream from the Itaipu Dam. The junction of the water flows marks the border between Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. 
some points in the cities of Foz do Iguazu, Brazil, Puerto Iguazu, Argentina, and Ciudad del Este, Paraguay, have access to the Iguazu River, where the borders of all three nations may be seen, a popular tourist attraction for visitors to the three cities. Iguazu Bird Park Located at the Brazilian side of the Iguazu National Park is the Bird Park, an area which provides direct contact with more than 1,000 birds of nearly 140 different species. Begin the tour is inside the vivarium, where you will be able to interact and take photos as you walk through the forest. In this environment, there is a lot to enjoy and feel with its surrounding beauty. The park preserves 16.5 hectares 40 acres, of Atlantic forest to form the best habitat for the animals. The birds are the main attraction, however, the snakes, butterflies and lizards also own the show. It's an unforgettable experience different than any other. Itaipu Dam The Itaipu Dam is a hydroelectric dam on the Parana River located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay. The construction of the dam was first contested by Argentina, but the negotiations and resolution of the dispute ended up setting the basis for Argentine-Brazilian integration later on. The name, Itaipu, was taken from an isle that existed near the construction site. In the Guarani language, Itaipu means, the sounding stone. The Itaipu Dam's hydroelectric power plant produced the second most electricity of any in the world as of 2020. Guided expedition with canoeing and waterfalls in Iguazu. Aguare Eco Sports is a company from Foz de Iguazu that was born from a group of friends who like to practice adventure sports linked to nature. Then came the idea of offering people the opportunity to do these sports and leisure activities, especially canoeing and hiking trekking in the natural beauties that we have in Foz de Iguazu, such as rivers, waterfalls and forest rich in fauna and flora. Our objective is to create activities that connect leisure, sports and environment, aiming to integrate the people with the natural beauties that we have in Foz do Iguazu, providing visitors and residents with a beautiful experience, getting to know the beauties of our city, the awareness of the need to rethink and recreate our way of coexisting with everything on the planet, using nature as a source of inspiration and learning. An exciting ride in the jungle on the banks of the Iguazu River, a place of unique beauty. You will hike along trails, navigate the Iguazu River and bathe in beautiful waterfalls. The route begins with a walk along the ecological trail of the Indian, a trail that leads to the canoe base located on the banks of the Iguazu River. All the way is accompanied by a lot of information about the Atlantic forest and the biome, anthropology and culture. Arriving at the canoe base is where the instructions take place and the safety equipment is placed. After everything prepared we embarked for a paddling, following towards the Tamandua River, a light and very relaxing canoeing activity. The region's lush landscape provides magical moments of contact with nature. In Rio Tamandua we disembark and walk along a trail to the Toka waterfall. After contemplating and bathing in the waterfalls, we returned to the kayaks and paddled back to the base. In the last part of the tour we contemplated the Juruva waterfall, and then we followed the trail back. Iguazu Falls, Yoga and Meditation in the Heart of the Rainforest 
The best option to practice yoga and meditate in a jungle environment after the visit to the Iguazu Falls. This program was specially designed for encouraging the relationship between man and nature in an original and inspiring way. The program was created for people who are looking for alternatives to improve their lives in a holistic way and who are also willing to discover and enjoy nature in an exuberant environment, full of wildlife. The Insight Program invites us to encounter ourselves with our inner space with us. When we are aware of the calm that pervades nature, we are able to connect with the calm that exists within ourselves. This is a unique experience that mixes yoga and meditation, together with interpretive nature activities. Regarding meals, menu is based on vegan or vegetarian food. Nutrition is very important since it is one of the stilts to find our interior balance. Food is prepared with love and dedication at the lodge kitchen. Only use fruits and vegetables produced in the surrounding area in this way. They are fresh and avoid the contamination by chemicals that usually carry mass production. Each dish is made with love and dedication in our kitchen, trying to combine flavor, freshness and proper nutrition. The ruins of San Ignacio Mini. The place that you can visit in Iguazu Falls is the ruins of San Ignacio Mini. A historical visit about the Jesuit missions of the province of Misiones. Do you like historical excursions? In addition to the classic visits to the Iguazu Falls on the Argentine side and the Brazilian side, there are other options such as the ruins of San Ignacio Mini and the Wanda Semi-Precious Stones Mine, near Puerto Iguazu. During this excursion, which begins around 7.30 am, it will take you to travel more than 300 kilometers towards the ruins of San Ignacio, there you can learn the history that the first Jesuit missions, their customs and how it worked. On the way, near Puerto Iguazu, you will stop by the precious stone mine of Wanda, where you can visit this area that is so important for the inhabitants of the area. All this while you discover an interesting jungle landscape of the province of Missions. The original mission was erected near the year 1610 by Jesuit priests Jose Catalino and Simón Maceta in the region called Guaira by the natives and Lapineria by the Spanish conquistadores in present Parana state, Brazil. Because of the constant attacks of the Bandeirantes, the mission moved in 1632, and did not settle in its current location until 1696. It was called San Ignacio Mini, minor in Guarani, to distinguish it from the larger mission, San Ignacio Guazu Great. In the 18th century, the mission had a population of around 3,000 people, mostly indigenous peoples. They produced rich cultural and handicraft products, which the Spanish commercialized by trade via the nearby Parana River. After the suppression of the Society of Jesus in 1767, the Jesuits left the mission a year later. Luso Brazilian forces destroyed the mission in 1817, as well as other missions in the area, in the war against the independent movement in the Banda Oriental.
Honda Mines. The place that you can visit in Iguazu Falls area is Wanda Mines. The Wanda Mines Minas de Wanda, located less than 40 miles 60 kilometers, from Puerto Iguazu in the rainforest along the Parana River, are home to some of the best agate, amethyst, quartz, and topaz found in Argentina. The small-scale mines don't use heavy explosives and are an excellent place to learn more about the geological processes that form gemstones. Located 40 kilometers away from Puerto Iguazu and 260 from Posadas, the famous Wanda mines are at a gemstone site containing quartz crystals, amethysts, agates and topaz, to name a few varieties. Resting on the plentiful Parana River, it lets visitors appreciate this singular attraction in the open air. Referred to as, Open Pit Mines, this is a deposit where the minerals are found near the surface. We were welcomed by a local guide, who led us around the entire corridor where the gemstones are found as he told us about their origin and chemical composition. In 1976, the first layer of gemstones was discovered in Wanda, the guide explained. It seems that the base on which the province of Misiones lies was formed during Cenozoic era. About 150 million years ago, and it went through several instances of lava coming from the core of the Earth. When the lava got cold, the gas bubbles were trapped and gave shape to the basalt, which is the mother rock that gives origin to the local gemstones. As we moved around the venue, we were amazed at the various colors and shapes of the stones we came across. Thus, we watched gems with hexagonal and bipyramidal prisms and octahedrons. Buried stones, especially amethysts, which feature a violish color, have been found at the Wanda Mines. Likewise, topaz, agates, jaspers and rock crystals are common in the area. After touring around the site, we were invited to visit the exhibition and sales room, where the gemstones are transformed in order to be used in jewelry. We could behold the extraordinary work nature did millions of years ago when it gave shape to the treasures turned into shining handicrafts that travel all around the world today. Rock crystal is transparent and is known as the false diamond. Pyrite is cool gold, the violet amethyst gives positive energy and tranquility, and helps those who suffer from insomnia. The guides of the mines of Wanda, in Misiones, and the salesmen of the store of the complex tell the visitors, the properties, of the minerals, but they constantly clarify, everything depends on the belief of each one. We read the posters. Rose quartz is the stone of harmony in the family, black tourmaline is protective, green agate represents love and fortune. First, health, and then, love and everything else, thinks aloud a woman and wears two charms. Other customers compare prices and wonder how they got to the crossroads of choosing between curving envy and inner peace. Like most tourists, we arrived in Wanda from Puerto Iguazu, about 40 kilometers away. The guided tour lasts around 45 minutes, in which it is explained how open pit mining is carried out, we go through the tunnels and go to the stone cutting, polishing and carving workshops.
시간은 계속 흘러만 가고 기다리다 지쳐 그만 널 놓칠까봐 하지만 성급한 나의 고백을 넌 거절할까 두려워서 매번 야야야야야 불러 널 야야야야 네가 제일 좋아하는 게 뭐냐고 물어본다 그런 나를 넌 보며 대답 없이 미소만 짓는데 I'm going, going, going crazy I'm going, going, going crazy 무뎌져버린 내 가슴이 뛰어 I'm going, going, going crazy yeah. I'm going, going, going crazy 어쩔 수 없는 걸널 보면 아무런 일도 하 I'm going, going, going crazy I'm going, going, going crazy 무뎌져버린 내 가슴이 뛰어 I'm going, going, going crazy yeah. I'm going, going, going crazy 어쩔 수 없는 걸 I dare you to fix me I'm crossing the line again Falling on my knees No stranger to pain It's never ending It's only I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving Admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this pain Am I completely betrayed? There's no air left to breathe I'm drowning Vultures are circling me Around it I need to fight, I know It's just so hard to let it go Shine a light, I can see I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving Admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this rage Am I completely betrayed? Something I can't forget My heart won't let it rest But you keep on forgiving Oh, oh admit that I'm afraid If I let go of this rage Am I completely betrayed? My love, 
my life the prize it's hard to find to find goodbye Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Goodbye.